welcome to Live Life with Jay. We are going to piggyback on my last video on budget and we are going to talk about cutting expenses. Ooh, I know, you're dreading it. I know, you probably don't want to cut out anything or subscriptions or memberships, but if you're not using it, why not, right? So let's talk about <clears throat> what is a want right don't hate me but dining out is a want <laughs> um if you eat out a lot it is a great way to decrease your exp expenses another one is entertainment um going out to the movies anything that is not a need basically <laughs> um, decreasing grooming and beauty things like that that's a way to cut some expenses or decrease the amount you spend on it a month getting your hair done I know I'm sorry don't hate me I, I'm sorry promise but when I did my budget for the first time I decided that I was going to sacrifice going to the nail salon until the first part of my debt was paid off and my husband decided that he was going to extend his haircut so he would usually go every two weeks and he decided that he was just going to extend an extra week and do every three weeks in a way of helping um, save money and putting extra money towards debt. Another thing I decided to just get my hair done once a year, um, it wasn't that hard. Once in the beginning I was like, oh, this may be tough, but once you get in the groove of cutting expenses, decreasing stuff, and you see the money going where it's supposed to go and you're directing it, it's a great feeling and there's nothing that you have to worry about. Um, another expense, the cable bill okay who watches cable anymore i'm sorry to the companies but cut the cord cut the cord i had cut the cord six years ago best decision i ever made i saved 200 dollars a month yes that much it was ridiculous another thing that you can do is start calling companies like the cell phone bill and see if they're offering any promotions that you could decrease your bill I've done that with security alarm companies where they were like, oh, sure, you know, I will offer you $10 a month where it was $40 a month. And that's a big difference. And you could put that money towards something else. Um, insurance companies, um, like car insurance, call around, get another offer. Another thing that I noticed that if you are an alumni from a university or a college, that they can give you a discount as well so don't be scared to ask questions because you may be able to save money um so these are places where i have saved money and it decreased our expenses so much um i'm trying to think if there was anything else our grocery bill we decreased our grocery bill we were spending way too much money than we should have been spending that's that's the truth so my recommendation you may not like but my recommendation was a hundred dollars a month per person so in my household is five so my grocery budget is five hundred dollars a month and that's how i determined that it works great there's some times that i go food shopping that i spend less so I go food shopping every two weeks. So I have $250 every two weeks. There's sometimes I spend 200. There was one time I spent 175. And on top of that, you know, I was able to get stuff on sale. I used some coupons, some digital coupons. That will be on another video, but it works. If you're disciplined, if you're consistent, trust me, it works. So these are just some areas that I wanted to give you that you can cut expenses, things that worked for me, maybe things that you would be able to decrease or take out that I didn't have like I didn't have gym memberships because I would work out at home but if that's a membership that you have that you're not using 
why not just take it off? If you have multiple subscriptions to TV providers, why not just keep one or two, not have four? After looking at your budget on the last video, sitting down, looking at your expenses, there are many ways that you're able to cut things out. Many ways that you're able to cut things out. And just take a second look. Try to decrease, call the companies. These are just little things out there that work for me. Um, I hope it can work for you. And yes, let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started because guess what? When all this is said and done, you're gonna have an emergency fund. You're going to have your debt paid off. You are going to be living your best life, okay? Aren't you sick and tired of being sick and tired of living paycheck to paycheck? Because I was, and guess what? I took control. I started telling my money where it's going. I was like, peace, you don't run me. I'm running you now, all right? And that's where I want you to be at. So take control. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell if you're not getting notifications. Please like my video, find my site, join my site so you can keep getting resources as they come out, as they come along, along the way of my journey. And I just thank you. If you've been following so far, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Live your best life.